Hello, my name is Sam, one of the founders of the Instant A-B testing app. And with this Shopify app, you can create Shopify native A-B tests in a matter of minutes. In this video, I'll go over everything you need to know to launch your first experiment. At the top of the dashboard, there's an overview of the experiments you're currently running, the amount of sessions and a breakdown per device. Below, you can see which experiments are currently active and which ones are still in draft. And below that, there's a CTA to our other product, the Instant Page and Section Builder, in case you want to create pages for an A-B test or add sections to an existing page and experiment with that. Now, let's create our first experiment in the top right corner. The first thing we should do is give this experiment a name. So let's call this experiment Test1. Then we can use an existing page. As you can see right here, we can work with any Shopify page that we have and we can also choose from all of our product pages. Another option is to work with a custom URL. The advantage of working with a custom URL is that you can ensure that no one will enter the experiment by accident. We can also give this URL a name, so let's also call this test1. But for now we will use an existing page and I want to use this one right here, landing page A, and let's click on next. As you can see, we have variant a or the control version on the left and then we can select variant b or in other words the challenger let's look for landing page b which i've just created there it is and then we can click on next the first thing we can control is how much of the total traffic will become part of the test group and thus enter the a b test let's say your page gets 10,000 visitors per day and we set this to 25%, then 2,500 people will become part of the test group. For this experiment, I want this to be at 50. So out of the 10,000 visitors I have, 5,000 of them will go into the experiment. Then we have traffic distribution. And with this option, we can determine how much of the traffic we're sending into this experiment will go to variant A and variant B. If we click on create, we have just created an experiment, but I also want to show you what it's like to work with a custom URL. So let's click on custom URL, test one, the name is still there. Let's click on next. And the difference right here is that we still need to select variant A. So let's look for landing page A, which I've created. There we go. And then for this one, let's say we compare it with one of our product pages and click on next. As you can see right here, we don't have to set the group size since this is a separate URL and only people you are actively directing to this URL or page are ending up here. What we can do is set the traffic distribution. 50-50 looks good to me. And now let's create this experiment. Now that we've created the experiment, we land in the overview where we can see everything that we have just done and also change what we have just done. So we can change the name, we can change the variations, we can set the traffic distribution, and we have a nice overview of the funnel. Sessions created, added to cart, reach checkout and checkout completed, and an overview of the total sessions with a breakdown of the different devices. If we click on start experiment, the experiment will start right away. So let's start it. And as you can see, the experiment is now active. If we want to end the experiment, we simply click on end experiment and the experiment will stop right away. And that's it for the video. I hope you understand how to launch your first Shopify AB test and good luck.